Well, good afternoon to you all. This is a message to uh, St Martin's Church family. And it's a message of change, hopefully potent, uh, temporary change, and a message of hope too. Uh, there's lots of news I'm going to give you in a few moments' time. But I thought I'd start off with, with news you already know, but news that we really have to have uh, at the forefront of our mind. And that is that God is in control. There's so much we hear about fear, worry, concern at the moment. But God really is in control. And a verse that we were given a few days ago, which has been on my mind all the time, is this. This is from Proverbs 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. You see, we don't fear fear. We don't fear anything. We fear the Lord. And by fearing the Lord, what that means is that we Acknowledge that God is in control. He is the one who created the universe, who saved us in his Son. He is the one who is in control and we fear him. Not fear in terms of terror because he loves us so dearly, but we look at him and we think, what an awesome God that you are. And remember that, that he is in control. And when you fear the Lord, all sorts of things happen. This is from Psalm 34. But when you fear the Lord... The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. When we fear the Lord, we have hope. And I think above all else, hope is what our country needs, is what we need, and what we have in Jesus. And we can tell everybody the great love that Jesus has for us. That's the best news of all, isn't it? That's what we need to tell everybody. And in these times, probably never more than any other time, we need to let everybody know that there is hope in Jesus. There's an email gone out to, uh, to many of you already. Those whose email address we know will have had that. If you haven't had the email, or because we don't know your address, um, we've, we've decided to do this video and put this on Facebook to try and reach as many people as possible. Because there's other news as well, beyond the fact that, uh, that God is in control, because things have changed rapidly in our country, as we know. And. Uh, I wanted to let you know what we're going to do as a church to try and keep our church life going as, as many people isolate themselves. We don't want them to feel isolated. The Church of England have announced this afternoon that all public worship is to be suspended until further notice. So it is with great sadness that I have to confirm that this will mean that all of our church services will be put on hold and many of our groups too. Now it's really important in this current climate that we are united. And unity isn't just about all doing the same thing. Unity is about acknowledging that we are united in Jesus Christ our Lord. And Paul asks us to maintain the unity that we already have. We're already united. We need to maintain that. We don't need to start it off because we're united in Jesus already. Now, that image might seem quite hard with the prospect of not being able to worship together in church or maybe to go to our house group or whatever other group we go to. But it is a real opportunity to be even more united because we can take lots of steps. We're doing so now by using our technology to worship together, to pray for each other, to care for each other and to keep our communications together. There are various ways we're going to do this. Uh, communication. If you haven't already liked our Facebook page, you can find us quite easily. Put some Martin's list card into Facebook and it'll come up. Like it and then you'll get all the information that you need to have. This will be our main form of communication to, to our church family. We're going to be putting all updates onto this and some of them, but not all of them, will be on our website. So Facebook is the way to communicate really. Now, can I ask you, if you're seeing this, you're obviously already on Facebook. But if you know somebody who isn't, could you please, are and a part of our church, please encourage them to like our page. And also, if you know people who aren't online, maybe you could help find ways of communicating with them. We all need to take responsibility for passing on information to as many people as we possibly can. And we don't want people to feel left out just because they don't find the internet that easy or they've decided not to use it. So communication is key. And secondly, pastoral care. I think it's our priority to support the most vulnerable people in our church. 
And our pastoral team will be contacting them all shortly. We met today to work out how we're going to do this. So if you or someone you know are particularly in need of support, please do get in touch, either by the Facebook page or by emailing this address, pastoral at smartchurchlistgar.co.uk. That's pastoral, P-A-S-T-O-R-A-L, at smartchurchlistgar.co.uk. Once we know about people, then we can think about helping them. Similarly, if you'd like to help, you can email the same way or contact us by the Facebook page and we'll get back to you. And then worship and prayer. Now we hope to provide a, a live video link on our Facebook page every Sunday at 11 o'clock during this pandemic period. There'll be preaching and worship from the team here at St Martins. We're also going to put additional videos and words of encouragement throughout the week on Facebook. And it's our plan to have a, rhythm, a regular rhythm of prayer on our Facebook page as well. We'll be doing evening prayer uh, for those who like things more traditional and there'll be worship songs, all sorts of things happening so that we can remain together as a worshipping community. And we really encourage our house groups to set up WhatsApp groups or messenger groups or maybe even look at conference call platforms such as Zoom so that you can still meet together still talk to each other, and more importantly, you can look after each other. As I said at the beginning, it's with great regret that I have to do this, that I have to announce that we're going to suspend our church services. But it is a great opportunity for us to carry on worshipping, carry on praying with each other, but just in a different way. Our church will be open seven days a week. Please come and pray. We'll be able to socially interact with each other. But of course, while keeping our distance while we do so. I'm going to finish now with one of the uh, most amazing quotes, I think, of all from, uh, from St Paul from Ephesians, which really puts all this lot into context. Be completely humble. Be patient. Bear with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Let's keep united. Let's keep worshipping. Let's keep praying. Let's keep loving. Let's keep caring. Let's keep the faith. And let's tell people, however we can, that Jesus loves them. And there is hope beyond hope beyond hope in him. So grace and peace to you in our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you.